Breaking news tonight, the NBC News exclusive one-on-one -on -one with Attorney General Merrick Garland on potentially prosecuting Donald Trump, the January 6th investigation, and the mounting pressure on the Justice Department. After weeks of dramatic testimony about the Capitol attack, the Attorney General answering our questions about possible charges for Donald Trump. We ask him, would the Justice Department welcome criminal referrals from the January 6th committee? And what happens if Mr. Trump runs for president again? in 2024. Would that impact the DOJ's investigation? How he answers. It comes as Mr. Trump returns to Washington for the first time since leaving office on the same day Mike Pence, his former running mate turned potential 2024 rival, also appeared in D.C. Their dueling messages. Also tonight, historic rain causing deadly flooding in St. Louis. Multiple boat rescues, cars, and homes submerged. Where the threat is headed next, WNBA star Brittany Griner is set to testify at her trial in Russia. And our exclusive with Trevor Reed, the American freed from Russia in April, why he's criticizing the White House's handling of the Griner case. And the long overdue honor for a 102-year-old World War II veteran. This is NBC Nightly News with Lester Holt. Good evening, everyone. After holding the attention of millions of TV viewers this summer, the recent pause to the January 6 hearings into the attack on the Capitol have turned attention now to the Department of Justice and Attorney General Merrick Garland to provide what could be the next act in this American legal, political, and constitutional drama. With outside pressure mounting for indictments of Mr. Trump and some of his inner circle, I sat down with the attorney general today for an exclusive interview. The AG dismissing accusations his office hasn't moved swiftly enough to build cases against those near the top of the ladder and telling me concerns over further tearing the country apart would not deter his office from holding those criminally responsible accountable. In 60 seconds, our exclusive with Trevor Reed, the most recent American to be released from a Russian prison, his message to WNBA star Brittany Griner, who is about to testify in her trial in Moscow. WNBA star Brittany Griner back in a Russian court today as she prepares to testify at her drug trial. And tonight, an NBC News exclusive, another American freed from Russia this year, criticizing the White House over Griner's case. Here's Hallie Jackson. It was wrongfully detained, released. Lester. Hallie Jackson, thank you. Up next for us tonight, the newest economic warning signs. Wall Street watching what Americans are spending their money on. Back now with those new warning signs for the economy. Consumer confidence dropping again this month with the Fed on the eve of another expected rate hike to tame soaring inflation. Here's Tom Costello. Lester. All right, Tom Costello, thank you. Up next for us tonight, long overdue honors for a 102-year-old World War II veteran. Nearly 80 years after the end of World War II, an American hero and her battalion are finally receiving a long overdue salute. Here's Blaine Alexander. A beautiful thought. It's my country, too. That's nightly news for this Tuesday. Thank you for watching, everyone. I'm Lester Holt. Please take care of yourself and each other. Good night. Your world, the tri state, and farther away. Your World. News for New York. NBC Nightly News with Lester Holt. Here together every night.